Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Jen and in today's video, I want to share with you guys my first attempt at making this New York Yankee tumbler for my husband. And in the back, it just says savages in the box. And I want to be very transparent with you guys. This was a very difficult tumbler for me to make. Um, it was a wraparound design and I recently updated my Silhouette Cameo software. And for some reason, it only cut half of the design, even though the design was spread out for the entire mat. So that was a big, um, so that was a big challenge for me. But I'm so excited with the way that the tumbler turned out. I'm super excited. I was able to make this for my husband. And if this is your first time here on the channel, I would love for you to subscribe. I'm going to be posting a lot of tumbler content. As I mentioned in my previous videos, I was going to share all the tumblers that I made that I was um, offering up for sale. So this is one of my tumblers that is ready to ship. It is a mermaid tumbler. And that is what it looks like. If you're interested in purchasing this YouTube shirt that I made, you can send me a, a direct message on my Instagram. It is at Vigo and Co. And this is what the shirt looks like. Right there. And I'm on my tippy toes. <laughs> Alright, so let's go ahead and get started watching me fail a couple times at making this tumbler. Okay guys, so to start off with this project, you're going to need your tumbler, of course. I'm using a 30 ounce tumbler. This is my lid. So you're going to need your tum So you're going to need um, a sanding block and some painter's tape and whatever color base you want your cup to be. So since we're making a New York Yankee tumbler, I need a white base. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to sand our tumbler and this is to rough up the surface so that the paint and the epoxy can adhere nicely to the cup. So that is what we're going to do first. Okay, so now that our cup has been sanded, we are just going to wipe it down. And this is just some alcohol to get all of the dust off, make it nice and clean. All right, so our cup is sanded. Now we're going to prep it to get spread. So now we're going to take our painter's tape and we are going to cover the rim of the cup so that we don't get any spray paint inside of the cup and try to keep the insides of our cup as clean as we possibly can. You can use any kind of tape. You can use duct tape. And you are going to hear Elijah in the background. And I'm just going to press in on the sides to make sure there's a nice tight seal. Alright, awesome. So our cup is ready to be spray painted. So this is the spray paint that I'm going to be using. It's just the Valspar Paint and Primer. It is a gloss. Um, and I just picked this up at my flea market for $2. So I'm going to take this outside and I'm going to spray paint it and we will be right back. All right, guys, so we are back. Our cup has been spray painted. And I did have, like, something on my cup. So you want to be sure that, excuse my nail, <laughs> you want to be sure that you're getting all of your spots. It's okay because even though I am going to coat this in white, we're going to have a mica powder in our resin, so you won't be able to see that. 
but this is what it looks like and it, I got pretty good coverage I did get like a little bit of dripping here but it's really really cold outside so that's what that looks like so now that we have our cup sanded and spray painted I'm gonna let this sit for like two more minutes or so um, it's not tacky or anything but I'm just gonna let this sit while I get my resin all mixed up all right so my tumbler is dried and I'm just gonna go ahead and start setting up my station I'm working on this tiny table today because I work in the garage and the lighting is horrible so I'm trying to work like right under the overhead light and my mat is very very well loved as you can see so I'm just gonna put on my gloves and these are not the correct gloves that you should be using um, you should try to use nitrile gloves but because I was already using these to spray paint earlier I'm not gonna waste them and I'm gonna try not to touch the is going on I'm struggling already hold on okay. so ah, see I already ripped it all right so I'm just going to so these um this is the turner that I had showed you guys that I hauled in the previous video and this is the stand right here so you just like pop this off and then you can easily just attach this together and once we get to like adding the epoxy and stuff I will go ahead and move it closer so we get this out the way Alright, so my cup is on the turner and we're going to be mixing this mica powder into the resin. This is the Luster Pearl White and the mica powder. The tumbler is white and because this is for my husband, I don't want to add any glitter, but I want it to have like a really pretty like sheen, shiny effect. Um, so we're going to be adding this to the tumbler and then I'm also going to be adding our... sticker logo on there and that's going to go right here in the bottom you always want to brand your items it doesn't matter who you're giving it to because if he loses it or something you know it's always going to be branded so look at that There's the one it's, I'm going to try to keep my table as clean as possible because it's really small over here it's really tight I'm going to be using my silicone brush and I'm going to be using my silicone. Um, I'm going to be using my silicone cup and my silicone stir, stir stick. So here I have my resin, and it's 15 milligrams each one. It's a one-to-one -one ratio. I'm still learning what amount I should be mixing for what size cup, but. If I have any left over, I'll just add it to a coaster mold or I'll just add it to a keychain mold. It's a really good idea to invest in some keychain molds. I'll link the ones that I use in the description box in case you guys are interested. But it's a really good idea to invest in one of those because sometimes we have extra epoxy. And if you make cups, you know, like, this stuff is not cheap. So we don't want to waste any of it. So, I'm just pouring in my resin. And if you hear some background noise, I have my door wide open so that the air can come in.
Right. So now I'm going to mix my resin until it's nice and combined until it's cleared with no streaks and then I'm going to heat it up with my torch to try to get away to try to get out any bubbles. Okay so I went ahead and stirred my resin up and I'm going to add my mica powder into my resin and I actually have to change my battery so while I'm going to go ahead and add my mica powder and I'm going to let it sit for a little bit so that the bubbles can rise to the top and then I'm going to torch it. So I'm just going to add the tiniest bit of the mica powder. I'm going to leave my popsicle stick in there so I don't have to toss it out. And I'm just going to stir it up. Because the base is white and this is like a pearly color, it's going to look really pretty. It's going to be really shiny, but it's not going to be glittery. Okay, so I'm going to mix that up real good. And if you guys can see what that looks like up there. So I'm just going to let this sit for about a minute or two, change my battery, and I will be right back. Okay, so this sat for a little while. So what we're going to do is we're going to turn on our turner, get it spinning, make sure our tumbler is nice in there. I just torched it literally a second. Pop any bubbles. It's been sitting there for a little bit. So it's all set. And then I'm just going to go in. Sometimes I just use my fingers. I think it's easier, but I like to have the silicone brush. Just going to keep pouring that in there. It's actually faster for me to just use my fingers. And I feel like I can control it more. Like I don't spill it. So we're just going to let this spin here for a couple hours, probably overnight. And while this spins and cures, we're going to work on our Yankee decal. still see the little mark right here but I'm going to try to um, get it covered with one of the decals so let's see how that goes
Alright guys, so we're back and this is what the tumbler is looking like. And I did coat it with a sealer. Um, only because I had to cut up the vinyl in different places in order to lay it down. I really, really, really struggled with this cup. But, um, this is going to be an extra special cup. <laughs> but, um, you know, I am learning and we all have to learn some way, somehow. So I just hope that everything works out nicely with this cup. And I'm just going to check it every like hour or so to make sure that I don't have any lifting but this is what it's looking like and I just have another um, cup turning here I'm testing out some micas and things like that so I'm just going to go ahead and alright so I mixed up my epoxy, gave that a little torch, get it nice and smooth. And now we're just going to go ahead and epoxy our tumbler. So that is it guys that was my journey trying to make this tumbler for my husband i really love the way that it came out it was very time consuming but i really do love it he approves and um we can only learn from all of these obstacles that's chris just shaking his butt around me so I can only learn from every obstacle that comes with making cups and every craft there's always going to be obstacles. So whatever issues you have, whether you're crafting a DIY, whether you're making a cup, making a shirt, just don't give up. The more you practice, the better you will get. And I cannot wait to share more projects with you guys. So I will see you guys in my next video. Thank you for watching. Bye.